Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm sharing with you all the swatches from my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick Collection, so let's get started. First swatch is I'm Nude, and I don't wear this one too often because it's extremely pale and really suitable for those with fair skin. Otherwise, I feel like it can easily make you look sick, especially if you don't pair it with the right makeup. One thing I do love about this color though is that it has a very neutral base, so almost any skin tone can pull it off, but you really need to wear makeup with this one or else, like I said, it kind of makes you look sick, but it is one I love. As you can see, it really pairs nicely with the eye makeup that I have on today. With I'm Nude, it's also important to make sure your lips are well exfoliated or else it can really accentuate dry patches. Next is one of my favorites, which is Celebrity Skin. And I tend to wear this one really often because it's a very wearable, neutral nude shade that can be worn with almost any eye look or makeup look or outfit. It's just such a classic shade that is really easy to pull off. In my opinion, this liquid lipstick pairs perfectly with this eye look. This one is super wearable. It doesn't cling too much to dry patches and it lasts almost all day through food and drinks. However, if you eat really oily foods, it is gonna come off a bit. Next is Rose Matter, which is one I got from the 2016 Christmas collection, and I am in love with it. It is the most beautiful dusty rose shade, and it just is so beautiful. It's a wonderful mix of cool and warm tones as well, so it's easy for anyone to wear this lip color, I feel like. I don't wear this one too often because for some reason I feel like this color makes my lips look a lot bigger than they actually are, even when I don't overline them. But I am absolutely in love with this shade. Next is Androgyny, which is one of the all-time best sellers from Jeffree Star's collection because it is just the perfect dark mauve shade. Not only that, it has a lot of purpley undertones, so it makes it a little more wearable for those with darker skin tones. If you're on the fairer side, it might be a little too heavy for you. Some days I feel like it is a bit heavy for me, especially if I'm feeling extra pale, but today I feel like it really suited this makeup look perfectly. Androgyny is one of the colors I tend to wear for evening out looks. I don't really wear it on an everyday basis. Next, we have Prom Night, which is one I literally don't wear ever. I think I've only maybe worn it once in a makeup tutorial, but otherwise this color is way out of my comfort zone as it's a really fluorescent fuchsia shade of pink. But as you can see on my lip, it tends to pull a bit of a cool undertone on me, which makes it a little less wearable as I feel like warmer undertones suit my skin just a little bit better. However, it definitely is still wearable, but of course with the right makeup look. Here we have another one from the Christmas collection in 2016, which is Red Drum. And I have worn this on two occasions where everyone seemed to love it. It's this very warm, undertoned, bright red shade that tends to pull a little more on the orange side for me rather than on the red side. But it is absolutely stunning. I am in love with it so much, but in some lights, like I said, it can pull off more of an orange rather than a red on me, but I still am totally in love with it. Here we have Unicorn Blood, which is another one of the all-time bestsellers from Jeffree Star's collection. And it actually took me so long to get my hands on this shade, but I finally was able to get it during the 2016 Christmas season, and I have been in love ever since. It seriously is the perfect red for me. It's more on the warm to neutral undertone side, making it suitable for most skin types, and it's just the perfect level of darkness. It's not too bright, not too dark, extremely wearable for winter seasons or if you have a special occasion out. And lastly is Abused and this one I've never really worn other than in this video to be honest just because it's extremely out of my comfort zone and as you can see it's kind of a dark navy blue shade which makes it 
quite hard to wear for any occasion unless you have the guts to pull it off. But for me, I really wanted this for makeup looks just because I feel like it's such a fun and unique shade. I'm honestly impressed with the opacity of it. It's not streaky and goes on quite smoothly, making it really easy to apply, which is somewhat shocking. This one definitely is not one of the colors I would really ever wear unless the occasion called for it, but otherwise, that is it for my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick Collection. I'm gonna move on to swatches now so you guys can see each color side by side on my skin tone, just to give you an idea of what every single color looks like in comparison to each other. Going from lightest to darkest, from left to right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to thumbs it up if you did, as it really helps me out. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. I upload one to two videos every week on this channel and check out my vlog channel to have videos every other day of my life in Melbourne, Australia. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.